Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. Tento here. Um, I'm going to read the last picture book that goes with Little House in the Big Woods. It's called The Deer in the Wood. You've read the, heard the chapter, but this will give you a little bit of um, picture to go along with the story. And here's the picture of the cover so you know what it looks like. And I'll read this story to you. What a wonderful bunch of history. Um, I hope everyone's doing well and having a good afternoon. Here's one of the stumps outside. Looks like the squirrels have gotten there along with the pile of wood for them to burn in their fireplace or in their wood stove. Okay. Here we go. Once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. And there she is. She looks a little older. It's kind of the end of a year that we've read about. Laura lived in the little house with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, and her baby sister Carrie, and their good old bulldog Jack. And there they all are. Looks like nighttime when Pa has his fiddle out and plays the fiddle for them. It was autumn and the days were getting short and cold. A fire burned all day in the cook stove to keep the little house warm. Laura and Mary worked on their patchwork quilts in front of the fire. And there's their nine patch quilt in the background. There they are, working hard. Let's see if we have a. There's the hearth, a little piece of it, and there's the ducky. One night, Pa said after supper, uh, he would go into the big woods to look for a deer. There had been no meat in the little house since spring and it was time for Pa to go hunting. Do you know why they hunted in the fall, boys and girls? They had to give the animals time to uh, gain a lot of weight and add a lot of meat to their bodies. And that's, um, they would fatten up for winter so they could sleep and not have to get up and eat in the middle of the winter. After supper, Pa went into the big woods. Laura and Mary went to bed, and they missed the songs Pa would always play for them on his fiddle before they fell asleep. There they are, snug in their bed. That's Laura. The next day, Laura and Mary waited for Pa to tell them about the deer, but Pa was busy all day chopping firewood so the little house would stay warm inside and there was no deer meat for the supper that night. Oh goodness, wonder what happened. There it is. There's Pa, chopping wood. And there's their little house down at the bottom of the hill. Beautiful pictures. After supper, Pa took Laura on his knee while Mary sat close in her little chair. Pa said, now I'll tell you why we had no meat today. There they are. Last night I went into the woods and climbed up into a big oak tree to watch for a deer. Pa said, soon the big round moon rose and I could see a deer with his great big horns that stood out from his head. He looked so strong and free and wild that I couldn't shoot him. I sat and looked at him until he ran off into the big woods. There goes deer, and there sits Pa, way up high in the tree. Then I remembered that Ma and my girls were waiting for me to bring home some meat for supper. So I made up my mind that the next time I saw a deer, I would shoot. 
They didn't have a store to go to for meat. They had to hunt back in those days. After a long while, a mother deer and her baby fawn stepped into the moonlight. They stood there together, looking out into the woods. Their large eyes were shining and soft. I just sat there looking at them until they walked away among the shadows. Then I climbed down out of the tree and came home. Laura whispered in his ear, I'm glad you didn't shoot them. And Mary said, we can eat bread and butter. Pa hugged both of them together and said, you are my good girls. Soon Laura and Mary were tucked snugly under their covers. Pa played this fiddle softly, and Ma sat by the fireplace gently rocking and knitting, and Laura would lay awake a little while thinking how lucky they were to be so safe and cozy in their little house in the big woods. And there's the last picture of the mama de deer and the baby the doe. Doe a deer. There we go. And that is the end, boys and girls, of our little house in the big woods. I'll put on a few more of the picture books that are about Almanzo, who becomes Laura's husband when he grows up. It's about his life in the state called New York State and the farm that he lived on and what he did when he was a little boy. Um, so I'll do that another day and you'll enjoy these books today and maybe tomorrow or another day, but there they are for you. And I hope you're feeling all snug and cozy on this rainy cold day, all snug in your home with your mom and dad and brothers and sisters and whoever else lives with you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.